Hello everyone, bringing you a video today talking about this and those of you who've watched the previous video, the unboxing video, will have seen this as part of the uh, collection of bits and pieces that arrived from the US in that uh, unboxing. This is a teapot and as you can probably imagine I was quite keen to make a video, as I mentioned in the, in the unboxing video, I was quite keen to make a video looking at this in more detail, so here we are. Uh, this is a, a teapot made in the UK during the Second World War in the Staffordshire Potteries. The idea of these was to uh, form a, an outgoing cargo on convoys to the United States. Obviously a lot more goods were coming into the UK during the course of the Second World War than were going over to the US. So these were produced specifically with the intention of being exported to the US. And the design elements, obviously the, the slogan on the lid there, is designed to um, speak to the American people, uh, make them aware of Britain's plight, and basically to raise funds uh, to help pay for convoys. So obviously these being sold in the US, it's outgoing goods from the UK, it helps to pay for uh, the, the shipping and so forth, and uh, getting the ships back across to the US from having delivered goods uh, and war material to the UK. So, as I say, there's, there's a two parts to that. There's the financial aspect and also the idea of, of uh, selling something which is an iconic bit of British pottery, the teapot, uh, with the slogans on it to uh, obviously uh, try and... Uh, uh, there's a proper propaganda element to this as well, should we say, in trying to get the, the US population on side uh, as regards uh, coming into the war and obviously assisting Britain uh, with Lend-Lease and so forth. So we have that here, uh, obviously the slogan on the lid there. We're going to have a look at this in a bit more detail now, uh, as we normally do on the blanket, uh, close up and, and have a look at the, the design elements, the, the, the hand-painted finish and so on. So that's what we're going to have a look at now. So looking at this particular example in a little bit more detail, we can see the, the painted pattern here. And these are basically unique to each pot, though obviously stylistically they will be similar, but they are hand-painted, so there will always be some variations in that. And you can see here we have a bow, a bunch of flowers, and then smaller flowers to each side here. You can see sort of basically mirrored across on the other side. Some nice detailing on this. You've got some little gold details on the handle. Obviously gold around the, the rim at the edge of the lid there and then we have gold on the handle of the lid as well and we have gold at the spout now this has had a little bit of damage to it there's a chip here there's a chip on the handle of the lid there and there's a little bit of damage to the paint the painted detail the paint, painted design but nevertheless it's a lovely thing to have and obviously it has seen a bit of use now the variations in these you'll see obviously variations not only in the fact that this is hand painted so there will be minor variations even if someone's trying to paint the same basic design but you also see these with roses dotted around and different floral patterns. So variations in the basic design painted onto this black glazed finish, which we have here. Obviously, you, they all come in this black finish. Another bit of gold detail there at the side of the spout. You can see there's a gold stripe up there on each side of the, the spout there. So quite a nice thing. As you can see here on the lid, you have the iconic for England and democracy slogan which was applied to most of these, although you do see variations of this which say for USA, Britain and democracy. So that's a, a variation on the design. This is done in a pale yellow lettering, as you can see there. And then just the interior of the pot there. You probably get two cups of tea out of one of these, so it's not particularly, particularly big. Uh, but uh, as I say, quite an interesting little thing. Now, one of the final details to look at here is underneath we have the Details with the Staffordshire knot there, because obviously these were made in the Staffordshire potteries. So that's the uh, the link there with that piece of iconography. You have the, the Union Jack on the left, and then a lion on the right there. And then escorted to USA by Royal Navy. Later in the war, this would be changed to escorted to USA by the Allied fleet, uh, to obviously acknowledge the fact that not just the Royal Navy was involved in convoy escort by that point. So I hope you found it interesting looking at this. Quite an interesting little bit of wartime memorabilia. Obviously not a military item by any stretch of the imagination, but something intended to help pay for the convoy system. So an interesting bit of Second World War history in and of itself. If you have found it interesting looking at this and you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And whether you're new to subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please make sure you hit the little bell, the notification button down below. That will of course alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel, you can. Both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And as ever, a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. It's greatly appreciated, as I always say. Thank you all very much indeed. If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are all linked down below. And if you'd like to get in touch, but you don't really use social media, there is, of course, an email address down there as well. 
But that is everything for this video. So until next time, bye for now.